Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, the 20th of August. Another cold and cloudy, almost damp day, but unfortunately no promise of rain for us here in Polokwane. One of the routines I've discovered as I come to the office in the morning is that there is a cat that lives on the property. It was left behind by a former staff member and um, those who continue to live on the property have undertaken to continue to care for it. And I can't help but notice, so typical of cats, that in summer when it's hot and the light has been up for a long time, when I get to work, and I'm usually one of the first to arrive in the office, the cat simply in summertime ignored me. But now it's winter and it's cold and the cat has learned to wait for me. And I no sooner climb out the car and it's wrapping itself around my feet quite a nuisance really so i've stood on its toes quite often it doesn't seem to like that but neither does it learn that if i'm walking forward it ought not to be standing under my feet but it just craves attention it's not a cat that enjoys to be picked up and certainly doesn't ever sit on your lap but it wants its head tickled and it's persistent in demanding that and will follow me all the way into my office and i set up my laptop and i get all my books and bibles out and it's crawling around my feet. If I'm seated, it, it stands on its back legs with its front legs on, on, on my legs and the claws come out demanding, tickle me, scratch me, rub my head. Oh, that's nice, especially behind my ears. It's persistent. And it got me thinking. Um, we've always had cats in our house and, and dogs and, and both of them as pets are persistent when they want attention cats particularly so and they use their their claws to get your to get your attention but here's the question that rather oddly arises out of that little analogy how persistent are we in our relationship with god see i'm not saying that we need to stick our claws into god we need to try and trip him up um, neither am I saying that when things are going our way, that we need to be aloof and ignore God as exactly like a cat can do. And then when things go bad, then we're all over God and we go to church and we pray and we go all upset when things don't go our own way. I'm not talking about that kind of persistence. But do we seek God? And scripture gives us the permission to seek God. Scripture says, pray without ceasing. God says, seek the Lord your God with all of your heart and your mind and your soul and your strength. Pray without ceasing, continuously, day and night. Bring your troubles always before God. He's willing to hear you and to answer you. Are we persistent in our relationship with God? The cat doesn't really, I think, have a relationship with us. We're there to serve it. Uh, but our dogs, I've noticed, they want a relationship with us. They, they kind of think they're humans and they want to be just like us. Are we persistent with God? Do we want to be in a relationship with him and to seek him? And so, friends, just as this cat, and I don't even know its name, it's just a big black male, wonderful, lovely cat. But are we as equally persistent in our relationship with God? Not to get our own way but to grow in our knowledge of him and our relationship with him. Folks, have a wonderful day and be persistent with God. Bye-bye.